Hey guys, it's Danny Bell. I hope you guys are having an awesome day today wherever you are in the world. Today we're working on our tropical island of Cocoa Bell, slowly 2.0-ifying everything, and we're working on this small little town area. Today's build is inspired by an amazing designer on Instagram named Esther. Please check out her Instagram page and show her some love at isla.florbella. She's an amazing designer. The inspo today is for a Spanish church. I cannot wait to add this. This is such a beautiful build. Before we get going on that, if you missed the last couple of videos, we have been working on this cute little tropical town area on Cocoa Bell. This little cityscape was so much fun, just creating the look of some apartment buildings, sort of some little tropical rentals, things of that nature, a little high rise. Really happy with how that came together. So if you missed that video and you're looking for a tutorial on how to create a cityscape, please check it out. We also worked on this little taco truck build, so I'll be sure to link that video at the end of this one in case you missed it. But yeah, lots of fun. So for today's build, we're gonna actually be working in this space over here. To do this build, you're gonna need a little bit of space here on the first level, as well as a shelf here behind me with a second tier so let's walk through it step by step I can't wait to put this together really excited with how it's gonna go with our overall theme here on Coco Bell 2.0 I also wanted to mention, if you like this type of content, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. I always love to hear from you guys. It truly brings joy to my day and a smile to my face to see what you all have been up to on your islands. So feel free to find me on Instagram at Peppy Crossing Play. Okay, now that we have our construction app on, let's speed things up and get going. I'm really excited. Okay, so first things first, we've been using this adorable southwest brick terracotta sort of looking pathway here in this city area on Coco Bell. I really love this. It has such a beautiful, warm southwestern vibe. It's perfect if you have a tropical island or if you're doing an island that's strictly resort related. This is a super beautiful one to use. It's just such a rich, beautiful color. Goes with so many of the item colors just to kind of mix and match the tones for all of the builds that you can do. Really love it. It's a larger piece set. I am working with about five or six of these pieces just to save some space in my um, custom design slots, but I really like how you can sort of create the look of these faux steps with all of the cute little flower tile patterns here in between. So once we've created this, we're going to start placing some items to sort of frame this in. We'll be using a lot of the Castle Gate item. Now there's lots of different versions of that item. You can use whatever coloration that you think goes best with your island's aesthetic. I'm going to continue to use this sort of cream colored one and we're going to be placing some other little items like this rusted fence item just to sort of bridge the gap here between our area that we created previously and kind of mixing everything together here. And then of course adding a few little plants here and there I think makes a big difference in just sort of framing in an area especially if you're sort of working your way through. Don't be afraid to try out things and if you don't end up liking them later you can always replace them with something else that you think might work better. Okay, so next we're gonna go ahead and place a couple of customized simple panels. I love this brown door pattern. It's so ornate and beautiful, absolutely love it. It's really versatile, so I found a few different uses for it already on Coco Bell, but I'll be sure to put all of the custom design information in the description of the video for you guys. So if you're looking for something like this to use on your island, you'll have it readily available. Okay, so next we've placed a couple of the medieval building sides, again in that same beautiful brick, the cream color to match the castle gate and some of the castle walls that we'll be using. I'm framing in the opposite side with another piece of the rusted fence item. I really like this item and if you wanna get super fancy, you can actually customize this fence with a little custom design pattern right on the front of it. So if there's something you wanted to use to sort of tie it into the build, you could get super creative with that. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it plain for now, but just so you know, it's an option. And then just sort of adding a little bit more pathing here in between to sort of fill in the gap. I'm not entirely sure how we're gonna structure this. The plan going forward is once we finished our beautiful Spanish church is to sort of create the look of little restaurants and buildings going straight vertically from this so that this particular church build is going to be the center focal point of the end of this little shopping district area. Okay, back to the build. Now for the second tier area, we're gonna be creating a four by four square area so that we can place any of the items above. I'll create a couple of little squares here as a lip so that we are easily able to climb up and move items around, which is kind of key to this to kind of fit everything in. We're gonna add some of the custom pattern, the terracotta pathing that we used before. I always say this on the channel, but I do love putting a custom design pattern underneath placing items. Even if you can't see them a ton, I think it really does add a huge amount of detail in a build. Just something subtle that I think as you're walking by, it just has a little bit more finishing look to it. 
Okay, so now we're gonna frame in this area with some of these castle gates, and then we're gonna put a nuptial bell in the middle. Now make sure you twist your nuptial bell so that the bell is facing outward. It does make a huge difference with the finished product, so make sure you twist it so that the bell is facing outward and not facing the opposite direction. And then we place a castle ball here and demolish the little lip that we created to climb up, and voila, church steeple installed. <laughs> okay, now as Faith is walking by us, we're gonna add a little bit more of the terracotta pathing, and I wanted to add something to this build, being that this is a trap or and jungle theme island especially in the back side of the island I wanted to sort of tie that together so we're gonna place some of the pergolas over here I love this item I think it really just adds a lot of nature and whimsy to a build I love the movement especially when it's a windy day and you can see the vines blowing in the breeze I think it's gonna be perfect to fill in this empty space as well now if you don't like the look at the pergolas you could always try other things I think gazebo will probably fit nicely over here with the domed roof on it and then just try a bunch of different things that's one of the things I love to do when creating builds especially if I'm trying to create something either making it my own or creating an entirely new concept I like to fill my pockets with lots of different height items I think swapping them out here and there and sort of walking away from a distance and looking at everything can make a huge difference to help you pick and choose what's going to look best for your build so don't be afraid to experiment with different items to find the right fit Okay, so finishing touches, we're framing everything in with a couple of the pirate cannons as well as some of the glowing moss statues. I think these are going to add a nice tropical element, sort of giving it the look of an old-fashioned fort as well, which is sort of what I was going for. Definitely things you would see in areas all over the country, um, just nostalgic, beautiful things to look at. I really love all the ornate ornateness of this. Yes, we've topped it off with a plain party light strand there in the front just to kind of add a little bit of extra detail. But yeah, I really like how this came together. I'm super happy with how the bell looks. I think it looks fantastic. I wanted to sh give a shout out and a thank you again to Esther on Instagram at isla.florabella. I love, love, love her design. So if you haven't seen her work, please check it out. She is a masteress of everything that has to do with buildings of this nature. Just incredibly beautiful and talented designer. So please check her page out. In the meantime, one more look at this build before we finish up for the day. I really like how it came together. I think that just having the idea of the cannons in the front gives it a nice extra antique look. I love the pergolas. I really like how the little flowers on the pergolas stand out. Super duper cute. Just really, really happy with how this came together. I hope you guys will give this build a try for yourselves. I love being able to break down different builds like this. Anything that might seem slightly intimidating, I love being able to share ideas with you guys. Always love to hear from you. You can find me on Instagram at Peppy Crossing Play. I love to see what you guys have been up to on your islands. We will definitely be getting back to more subscriber island tours, so if you have an amazing Animal Crossing island that you would like to potentially see, see featured on the channel, please find in the description of most of my videos, you'll find a subscriber island tour consideration form. Like I said, we've been trying to sort of wrap up everything on Cocoa Bell 2.0-ifying it, and I wanted to try to get that done before summer is over so that everyone has a chance to come and visit before we roll into fall and start a new island theme. But yeah, once we kind of get things squared away with Cocoa Bell here, I'll be sure to be on my way back to visit your islands because I do love showcasing all of your talents as well. I hope you enjoyed this build today. If you enjoyed this type of content and you want to see more, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. I always love to have new friends come along with us on our journeys for our islands. Wishing you all an amazing day. Take care and we'll see you in the next one.